Sure, Major Matthew Andrews, uh, Executive Officer of Marine Fighter Attack Squadron 312. Yeah, DAO is a, is a great concept that Second Maw is uh, pushing forward where we uh, can put our aircraft and squadrons with real firepower forward into multiple locations, making targeting really complicated for the enemy, uh, enabling us to fly from multiple bases, uh, mission plan from there, load ordnance from there, uh, and do everything that we need to do to support uh, the ground combat element in uh, regular and routine operations. DAO is an important concept because uh, it really complicates the enemy's ability to track our aircraft. We can move aircraft around an AO, uh, especially in the future with F-35, but now doing it with Hornets, moving aircraft very rapidly throughout an AO, relying on host nation support, equipment, facilities much like this one that are uh, located all throughout uh, another country to put our aircraft there, complicate their targeting in these hardened structures, move rapidly, uh, and uh, employ firepower and mass it in the right time and place. So our DAO operation in Olu, Finland was, uh, was actually really exciting. So we established very quickly a mission planning cell there uh, with full uh, secure VTC capability where we could talk and mission plan with people from all over the Nordics, uh, get all the information that we needed, launch the aircraft from there, uh, and we supported uh, maritime strikes as well as defensive counter-air and offensive counter-air operations uh, from this environment simultaneously uh, with operations from Endoya, Norway. The biggest challenge that the squadron has in Oulu is positioning the maintenance footprint there properly. Now, the whole reason that we do DAO and the reason why Finland is great is because they already have Hornets and eventually they'll have F-35s where now we can fall in on their infrastructure, on their equipment, on their people even, and have them help us do maintenance on the jets, use some of their parts uh, and things like that. We can fall in on a lot of the infrastructure that already uh, exists there. Yeah, so the coordination with the uh, Finnish Air Force was actually really seamless, uh, leveraging experience as a, as a Finnish exchange pilot for three years, knowing the people that I know there and the environment that we operate in there, it was really easy uh, for us to move locations rather quickly within uh, a couple of days notice and put our jets there, uh, coordinate all the uh, billeting, food, uh, everything that we needed as well as maintenance uh, parts, fuel, airspace and everything uh, pretty much just fell in on and we were ready to go as soon as we landed. 312 did an extraordinary job. The maintainers, the people, uh, the support staff and headquarters uh, did an extraordinary job uh, moving these aircraft. Typically when we move things around, it's these huge movements with big airplanes and uh, it takes a lot of time to get set up. Uh, and we did a really good job of, of moving in, packing light, moving quickly, moving to this new location, immediately being ready for operations, and then starting uh, and flying in major large force exercises the next day, which is a pretty extraordinary feat and not something that we do very often in the Marine Corps, but something that will be uh, pretty standard in the future. Yeah, I think uh, the pilots are gonna benefit a lot because Finland does DAO very, very well. They've been doing it for years. They have road bases all over the country. Uh, and that's a, a big part of their wartime strategy is to disperse their airplanes and put them all over uh, the country flying from multiple locations. And they do that really very well. And so it's a great opportunity. And we spend a lot of time in Finland learning from them uh, on how to do that and how we can rapidly uh, move these aircraft around. Yeah, actually this has been a pretty awesome detachment, man. Like getting to work with Sweden and Norway, Finland, uh, all these different countries at the same time. You hear French controllers and Italian controllers and British controllers, and we have jets from all over the place meeting in one place uh, to really put a lot of firepower down range. And to see that now with all the assets put together, having the battalions on the ground and the ships in the sea and everything was, was really, really impressive. Uh, and a good uh, a good example of our warfighting capability.